Hello YouTube, I came across another interesting effect that I believe relates to Ed, what uh, Edley Scanlon was doing. As, as you know, I'm very interested in the work of Edley Scanlon and um, uh, I've already posted some videos on the subject. But this is something different. So we have, what we have here is um, two galvanized um, um, iron wires. As you can see, they're not magnetic by themselves. See, they're not magnetic. And this thing over here is um, a part of a transformer core. It's a, ferric, a transformer ring that, that was five inches in diameter. And as you can see, it too is not magnetic. So the, the, none of these three things is magnetic by themselves. Okay, and over here we have um, two very large magnets, four inch by six inch ceramic magnets, sandwiched between um, and a, a, a aluminum tube, a alum, three inch aluminum tube. And I've used this thing for my experiments with uh, Floyd sweet uh, circuits. Uh, but we're, no, we're not really concerned about the aluminum tube or this bottom magnet. So we're, we're just going to use the top magnet for the demonstrations, okay? So um, I'm going to set down the camera and hopefully you guys can see what's going on, okay? So we have the two two wires as you can see all of a sudden when, when they're held over the magnet they become um, the uh, the bottom wire is attracted more to the non-magnetic wire than it, it is to the magnet as you can see I can even move it around and it will it will oh, well, okay it fell off this time okay so as you can see as you can see it, it wants to be attracted more to the non-magnetic wire, then then it's attracted to to the magnet itself. Okay. As you can see. Well, finally it falls off. Okay. 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 Now let's try the same thing with this um, with this ferric 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 material. As you can see, it's not magnetic. Okay. But oh, see what happens when we hold it over the magnet again. The non-magnetic wire is attached to the other ferric piece more so than it is to the magnet itself. So what if we uh, gen what if we design a generator that induces magnetism in in a metal piece and uh, let's say a galvanized iron piece and then that uh, induces magnetism in another piece that has uh, copper wound wound around it. So uh, I believe it will be a lens for uh, lens lens-free system, so lens load should not apply to this type of system. Uh, and uh, what Edley Scanlon was doing it is, uh, in his um, flywheel is he had uh, a bunch of horseshoe magnets that were uh, in this, in, with the same polarities uh, pressed together. Notice here in the Edley Scanlon's flywheel we have the U-shaped magnets of the same polarity all stack, stuck together in, co in columns and uh, effectively deck, uh, all the poles of the magnets uh, stuck, stack together and act as a, as a much larger magnet they can act on a much larger distance and of course his coil would be in the tube in the metal tube next to the to the rotor and um, I'm circling those those here so you can see So what that effectively does is that it creates a larger field, a larger area for a field. As you can see, the magnetic field here is in between the magnets. See, so so these smaller magnets act as a larger magnet when they're when the same polarity is sandwiched together. And um, I'm going to further prove this uh, by uh, having a, a uh, I have a whole box of these ceramic magnets over here. I'm going to um, uh, tape the same pole magnets together and we're going to see if the um, magnets will act in a similar manner that these large magnets did. So here I taped the four ceramic magnets together. The south poles are on one side and the north poles on the other. So, uh, and collectively they act uh, as a large magnet. See. This other magnet wants to be attracted to, to the to the middle. 
that's where it's the heaviest. So these, uh, th this mag magnet clas cluster now acts as a larger magnet. So that's effectively what Edley Scanlon was doing when he was taping his uh, horseshoe magnets together. So he, they made them act like, like large magnets. So um, we're going to continue experimenting with this, you guys.